Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. When one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. Do you think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and The records issues. show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. His file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him.
Wake up, Chief. I need you. Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back to Halo Cannon, the first episode in an all new Let's War. Finally. I am joined today by. I can't really show you on screen because the chief, chief is all too concerned with himself. <laughs> but Mr. James, who will be on screen in. There we go. There he is. So, first credit, of course, to Mr. James for getting me back into doing this, so thank you. And I once again forgot to change my controls. It's like old times. God damn it. Easy mistake. Work. Very common mistake ask. for me. We've got right. intrusion alerts lighting up on multiple yeah, decks. Dude. Our best bet to figure out who's boarding us is the observation yes. deck, ah, four floors up. Could it be a rescue team? Like, leave. Let's, like, uh, there's like these legendary Halo 4. Like, oh, yeah, I do like that. You can uh, see the um, where are they? There it is. Oh, that is not what I'm doing. Halo 4 limited editions uh, on the floor. Oh, it's got a fun little Easter egg. And, like, you can find Xbox 360s in Halsey's, uh, what do you call that thing? Her lair or whatever. And, <laughs> In Halo Reach. Laboratory. Yes, for laboratory. That's the word. <laughs> no, it's a lair, goddammit. I do like that about Halo. Well, of course, the little Easter eggs. Up, up, up the stairs we go. Up, up, up the stairs we go. And then. How long was it? We jump. Yes. Four Holy years. crap. That's fine. Somebody should have found us by now. Ah! What's that? Pumpkin juice. It's nano. Scan high intensity. Doesn't match any known. Here's the better. How close are we to the observation yeah. deck? That's it's little, directly that above us. Yellow. Yeah, I like how that shows the dawn's trajectory. The elevator yeah, doors like, look sealed. Oh shit! So, yeah, and then it's like, wait a minute, something's uh, something, uh, something to alter our path. Right? Chief, be careful. I remember this was like one of the because first things we saw in one of the early ride outs. Right. So actually, this scene in particular. Of course, back then it was just a bunch of great blocks, so nothing was recognizable. Chief, watch out! Blocks are low. Blocks. <laughs> didn't realize the ship had deteriorated so badly. I can agree with that. Especially if you are a fan of mine. Yeah, I've only played it a few times. Uh, Bye. <laughs> well, there seems to be some I sort of indication on my HUD. It says press R B. Not sure in what that means. <laughs> Either way, he's probably not alone. We should be careful. I should come to you willingly. Ooh, yeah. Come to me. <laughs> Free those children from your head. That's the last of them. Find the override for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against. Whoa. The good news is the these right now aren't outfitted like standard, standard military. Right what do you think? It's possible we just came across a rogue. I don't know. Uh, maybe there was. Huh. Or we might have stumbled yeah, into we never put any money on that. an fleet. Yeah, you they have them wrecking that because I have no money. That's one possibility. Landy crap, oh, no, flanking I would us. Move, so you'd actually be there. And I would be very cool. I have I have I would lose that memory. I have uh, ten dollars to my name. That is definitely not Tell me about how much I have already done. Have my side cleared. I know. I keep hitting the mail. I keep hitting the crouch button because it's my my old mail. We need button. to get off this ship. We've got bigger. You all 
remote control. We've got a cruiser on an yeah. intercept course. Head for the elevator banks. It just makes it Didn't easier when I'm doing my machine. We still have weapon systems online. Yes, but since the ship was torn in half, we can't access the weapon stations. Mm. We'll have to fire them manually from the outer hull. <laughs> this ship's a lot bigger than I remember. <laughs> Like the arc mission, when you uh, clear the landing zone, it does look a lot bigger. Make sure you're not uh, standing on anything uh, important. Well, considering this boat is responsible for letting us out there for our lives, I'd say it's all important. Hey, look, boxes. Yay, boxes. Take a boo. Holy shit. That cruiser's shields are down. Assuming they don't raise them, that missile's gonna be one heck of a surprise. Nope. So, who else likes the mini cro <laughs> who likes the mini Krogans or <laughs> Or, um, what was it? Locusts, they look a lot like. From Gears of War. Basically anything that's not a These blunt. covenants seem more fanatical than the ones we fought before. Uh, the old new old direction. <laughs> oh god, I think it's all crap like the old days. You made a call just about there. reference! I'm sorry, guys! I hate the days when you're grenaded in the foot. I hate the days when there's a grenade anywhere near me. Here, the pink mist. How's this for some people? And as my friends and I like to call it, the time stop gun. So that's pretty much what it does in, in multiplayer. You get shot with this thing, you aren't going anywhere, but you're, going, you're not going forward at least. The auxiliary launch station should be to your left, out of the airlocks. It's even better if you are in a launch for ignition. Vehicle. Oh god! It's nothing. Just get to the launch station. A time stop gun. Using old, uh, a, old I'm time sorry, technology. I'm sorry. Did I miss orbiting a forerunner planet at some point? One thing at a time. Than an individual use. Chief, you need to find the missile controls. How about you find them, Cortana? I mean, you, you know this ship. Don't let me die this time. Making all kinds of children happy. <laughs> as long as the children are happy. And of course again. Okay, weird ass state. This is the weirdest thing with the gravity of this game. It's normal gravity when you're walking around. I mean, I'm sure that these survives a, a canon explanation for this. You know, Chief has magma boots or such. Like but then you die, and your body starts floating around. So why can't I? Like, why can't there be a mechanic where I can like use super boots or such? Like that? Oh, grenade jumps. Well, that's easy. Explosion. <laughs> There's the launch station! Oh, goodbye. Yep. Launch it! Press the colorful button. It's only colorful after the fact. Quickly, Chief, this way. Right! The last door's jammed! The missile won't fire! Cleared! Get down there! Yeah. Funny thing too, if you do that, if you do that just right, this got this little vignette or something, whatever, will work out in such a way that you'll actually be fun. But anyway. Chief? 
Covenant weren't the ones scanning us. So, now can we worry about the giant metal planet? Standard Covenant ships. Yep. Now, whatever you do, He's using a do gravity well to pull us inside the surface. Hopefully, I will not. Hurry. The second we cross the dome's event horizon, its First atmosphere is going to tear us apart. This level. I can't see how We're many times I can die. Act the <laughs> You didn't get splattered, so that's certainly an improvement. But, yeah, that's oh, so many times. So many times I would just get stuck at that point. So it's like right after you launch the missile. God, refresh your eyes. You don't have all day. Yeah, the ship's falling apart. Oxygen. I don't worry, we got like a ton of that. One of the grab generators just went dark! Just to be pointed at that vehicle bay. I do, I do like that. Life is a nice and loose one. Oh, that's nice. Oh god, no, no, no! We're almost there! Do not... Oh god damn it! Oh god. This is why... All right, now we just gotta be careful as we're coming up here. You never, never want to go this. Oh God! Where's the other me? Where are the me's? How we all know, yeah. Chief has clones. <laughs> so many clones. I will say, beautiful as this scene is, I kind of wish they could have done like a dead space. Like, the first time I played this, I thought this was going to be like a dead space Look out! moment where you're diving through the trees and being manipulated. And you get this minor camera manipulation. Yeah. Just in case you forgot what game you were playing. And my phone! If you ever noticed, there is actually, I think, Forerunner Glyphs right down there. Yep. Of course, the real question is, do they have any meaning? Unless I heard they actually don't. They're just supposed to be a countdown. Maybe part of the Forerunner number system. <laughs> Never yeah. know. Yeah, we might one day. Who knows? Anyway... Thanks for joining me, and thank you for getting me to start this up again. <laughs> I've been meaning to, but I keep putting it off. So thank you for kind of pushing me to do it. A pleasure. Anyway, and thank you guys out there for watching. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I could express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not.